Lackey and I'm out here at the Living History Farm at Roper Mountain Science Center and I want to talk to you about one of our very important historic cash crops for South Carolina and this is Carolina gold rice. Carolina gold rice um, as well as cotton, indigo, tobacco, all very important cash crops for us but the Carolina gold rice is what I have in front of me here. So we have grown some Carolina gold rice out here at our garden and that's what it looks like when it's ripe harvest it, you would take those seeds off of the stalk and then you would open them to get to the rice on the inside. And so just like say a sunflower seed where you have to get the shell off the outside to get to the good part on the inside, we need to get the shell off of the rice. And you would do that using a mortar and pestle. And so this is a pretty big mortar. They're all different shapes of mortar and pestles, but this one is a log that's been hollowed out and you can see I have rice down in here. And then we would take this stick, this sort of rounded stick, and as we hit the rice, it knocks the shells off of the rice. Now, we don't want to sit there and pick all those shells off, so what we would do is to use a winnowing basket to clean the rice. So I'm gonna take this basket and I'll put the rice down in here. And as I toss it in the air, if there are any shells in here, they'll come out. So this winnowing basket, you can see it's wide. It's not very deep. And that allows me to toss it and catch it very easily. So let's see what we get. So as the rice comes off the surface of the basket, if there are any shells, which is also called the chaff, they will blow off on the ground because they are lighter in weight. And so we end up with the chaff on the ground and the rice down in the basket. Now there is a lot of rice here that is not finished. It would have to stay in here a little bit longer until we get all the shells off. But this is part of the process of getting rice to the table. And we have a lot of interesting plants out here at Roper Mountain Science Center in our Living History Farm gardens, as well as other gardens on the property. When you come out to Roper Mountain, Hopefully you'll come down here to the farm and see what we're growing. Thanks for visiting.